Liquefied petroleum gas, commonly called LPG or LP gas, is a mixture of several hydrocarbon gases. Propane and butane used separately or in mixtures are the principal LP gases. Propane is the LP gas most widely used in the USA. Propane is a vapor at normal temperatures and atmospheric pressure. Your gas supplier converts propane to a liquid by a combination of compression and cooling, which greatly reduces space requirements. Approximately 270 gallons of vapor can be converted to one gallon of liquid. Moderate pressure holds the propane in liquid form until needed, and of course a pressure tank is necessary to maintain this pressure. Propane has been a common fuel in homes and businesses since the early 1920s. Today, propane is used extensively for forklifts operating in warehouses because propane's clean burning properties eliminate sludge, carbon and gum deposits, resulting in lower maintenance and operation costs, as well as reducing harmful exhaust emissions. Without going into great detail, let's quickly review some of the basics of a propane dispensing tank. The dispenser is a complete system consisting of the fuel supply tank, hose coupling, and all fixtures necessary to complete the system. It's important that any person using the propane dispenser unit to transfer propane liquid into portable cylinders learn what inspections and preventative maintenance are required. And if you have any questions about the safety features of the system, be sure to ask your supervisor. This program is designed to provide basic safety knowledge of proper cylinder refueling operations by vehicle operators. The most important consideration is safety. So always follow your company's policies and procedures relating to refueling propane cylinders and other safety regulations recommended by the propane supplier or equipment manufacturer. The very first step is to make sure the cylinder is approved by the markings on the cylinder, such as DOT, ICC, or ASME nameplates. Inspect the cylinder to determine if there's any damage to the cylinder before filling, and never use the cylinder if damage or defects are found. A protective ring or housing is required on all approved cylinders to prevent physical damage to the valves. The next step is to make sure there are no open flames, sparks, or other sources of ignition near the refueling tank or area. Naturally, no smoking is allowed near the refueling area. The vehicle must be shut off during refueling, and it is recommended the forklift propane cylinder be removed from the vehicle during refueling. One important consideration when removing the cylinder is to lift safely. Lift safely to prevent a back injury and also lifting properly to prevent damage to the cylinder. All propane cylinders should be considered under pressure, therefore should be handled in a safe manner to prevent damage. Let's now take a look at the refueling of a forklift propane cylinder from a dispensing unit. In addition to inspecting the cylinder for proper marking and identification, a check should be made to detect any gouges, dents, bulges, or other damage. Check for leaks. All seams and openings should be inspected. Check that the relief valve will discharge directly into the atmosphere and will not impinge on the tank, structural members, or adjacent objects. A protective cover should be installed on the piping to prevent entrance of moisture or debris into the relief valve. Always wear proper protective gloves and eye face protection as required by your company safety regulations. Remove the protective plastic cap on the tank filler valve. Connect the hose coupling to the tank filler valve. Open the main liquid valve at the storage tank. Turn on the transfer pump. Open the valve on the tank to be filled. Slowly open the hose end valve no more than two turns. Check the entire system for leaks. Open the maximum liquid level outage valve approximately one quarter turn until the gas starts to vent. Fill the tank until liquid vents from the outage valve. When liquid vents, there will be a visible cloud and this indicates the cylinder is full. When liquid vents, close the hose end of the valve immediately. Shut off transfer pump and close the outage valve. A word of caution, do not overfill the tank. Adequate vapor space must be left in the tank to allow for expansion of the liquid. If overfilled, bleed off excess LP gas in a safe location. Close the valve on the tank if so equipped. Partially loosen the hose coupling at the tank filler valve and bleed off trapped liquid. When depressured, disconnect the hose coupling. Replace the protective plastic cap on the tank filler valve. Check that the outage gauge is closed tight. 
close the main liquid valve at the storage tank, and store the hose properly. Forklifts normally have another safety relief valve located behind the driver's seat on most equipment. In the event the tank is overfilled and expansion occurs, the cylinder safety valve would then vent the overfill. However, if that valve does not function properly, an addition safety relief valve on the forklift will allow the gas to escape. This points out the need for forklift operators to inspect the entire fuel system on the vehicle. Inspect fuel hoses, connections, and the safety relief valve for any sign of wear, damage, or leaks. Quite frequently, fuel connections from the cylinder to the forklift become loose and should be checked periodically to make sure they are properly tightened. Certainly there are many different systems, different types of cylinders, and other configurations of propane systems, but it's important that you follow the equipment manufacturer's recommendations, your propane supplier recommendations, and of course, your company's safety policies and procedures. Right now, let's take a look at some of the characteristics of propane to give you a better understanding of the liquid and vapor. As a liquid, propane is easily transported and stored, but requires special handling and safety procedures. Propane burns cleanly, has a high heat value, and a high octane number. Propane is not poisonous. Propane liquid is colorless and odorless in its natural state. A rotten egg odor is added to propane for your protection and to aid in detection. You should always be able to smell this odor if a small amount of vapor is vented into the air. Propane liquid is extremely volatile and will vaporize quickly if spilled. Propane liquid leaking into the atmosphere can often be detected by a white fog caused by freezing of moisture in the air. Propane vapor is heavier than air and can accumulate in low spots. Escaping propane could lead to one or more of the following incidents. Number one, fire due to burning of the gas. Number two, explosion due to ignition of the combustible mixture of gas and air in a confined space. Number three, asphyxiation due to lack of oxygen. Number four, freeze burn from direct contact of propane liquid with the skin. Where escaping gas is encountered, all possible sources of ignition must be considered and eliminated or controlled. Do not remain in a propane-rich atmosphere for any prolonged length of time for the following reasons. Number one, propane vapors are non-toxic, but they can reduce the oxygen content in a vapor cloud or enclosed space. Number two, in an atmosphere of pure propane vapor, a person would rapidly become unconscious and die in several minutes if not removed from this atmosphere. Oxygen starvation often develops slowly, and the victim is generally unaware that anything is wrong until it's too late. Direct contact with propane liquid produces rapid freezing of skin tissue because of the high rate of heat transferred. This freezing causes a chemical burn very similar to frostbite. Gloves which will not absorb propane liquid should be used when handling propane. The wearing of clothing which will repel or partially absorb liquid is the best way to avoid exposure to your skin from propane liquid. Immediately remove any clothing which has been saturated with propane liquid to reduce the extent and severity of skin burns. Safety glasses and a full face shield are recommended when filling propane tanks and cylinders due to the same exposure as your skin. If you need or want more information regarding propane, consult your company's material safety data sheet for propane. This MSDS provides additional information on the hazardous ingredients, physical data, fire and explosion hazards, health hazard data, reactivity data, spill or leak procedures, special protection information, and any special precautions. As a review, let's quickly list some of the basics when handling propane. First of all, it's flammable and can explode if the proper mixture of air and vapor is ignited by an ignition source. Propane can cause chemical burns, similar to frostbite, so always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment. When using a filling tank, make sure you know and understand all the safety features and manufacturer's instructions and have been properly trained for this job.